A classic example of the application of the substitution rule for definite integrals is that by which we may calculate the surface area of a unit circle. Uh, we do this by calculating a quarter of this surface area and um, well the equation for a unit circle is of course this is, is exactly the set of all points x squared plus y squared equals 1 so that on the positive quadrant we get y equals the square root of 1 minus x squared yeah so what we try to do is to find the value of the following definite integral which is actually the surface area of the a quarter of the unit circle. So we get the 0 to 1 of the square root of 1 minus x squared dx. Now something so, something magical happens. We're going to replace or substitute a rather non-trivial term. So we use a non-trivial substitution and it might not be immediately clear why we do so, but we make a non-trivial substitution. x equals the sine of u or u equals the arc sine of x. Well, you may wonder, we, ne we don't see any arc sine on the left hand side, but the thing that we do see is that du is 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared dx, and this square root is found in the integral. So this seems an artificial operation, but it will, it will work out. Just see what we get. We get the integral, we try to formulate it in terms of the substitution rule, so now we get the integral of 0 to 1 of the square root of 1 minus x squared squared, so we add a factor square root of 1 minus x squared, and we may do so if we just also, if we also subdivide, if we divide by the square root of 1 minus x squared, yeah? So by doing so, we recognize on the right hand side, we recognize du. Also, this term, we get rid of the square root, so we find 1 minus x squared, but recall that x equals sine of u, so this, this equals 1 minus the sine squared of u, which equals the cosine squared of u. And so now we may apply the substitution rule, so if, if x ranges from 0 to 1, then u ranges from the arc sine of 0 to the arc sine of 1. And we may replace 1 minus x squared by the cosine squared of u du. So we replaced our hard integral in terms of the square root of 1 minus x squared in terms of a trigonometric function. The arc sine of 0 equals 0, the arc sine of 1 equals a half pi. And the cosine squared can be replaced by an easier function to integrate, or a half minus a half times the cosine of 2u. And it's not hard to find a primitive of this function, so we get 0 to a half pi of the function, a half times u, which is a primitive of a half. And minus 1 over 4, the sine of 2u, which is a primitive of minus a half cosine 2u. So if you perform the, uh, the necessary calculations, then you will find that here the integral equals 1 over 4 pi. Yeah, so the yellow area equals as, as, as size 1 over 4 pi. So our conclusion is that the surface area enclosed by the unit circle equals 4 times this area, so it's 4 times 1 over 4 pi, or just pi.